to Fry family and my other family and my buddies, my brothers, um, and sister. You know who you are. Um, I've got a few new subscribers since Christmas, so I'm guessing you guys got an active ride for Christmas, which is great. I mean, I love the shit out of this. Um, I, I think I've had it almost four years. I always get it wrong, but it feels like four years. And it's the first one that came out. Don't ask me what model is. This guy wear a number in... I should have wrote it down, but I did it. It's just a simple active fry. The first one that came out. I got it on Amazon for like 200 bucks. And that's when it first came out. I got mine before Oprah, okay? And um, they have better ones. Uh, the double decker ones. I don't know if it's better. I think it's better. If this one can just break, that's the one I think I'm going to get. But I'm not sure. I'm going to research it a lot more. It's not a cheap... Let me have a hot flash, I think. It's not a cheap uh, toy to have. It's a great toy to have, though. I mean, you could do all kinds of things in there. Not just french fries. It's great for french fries, but you can do all kinds of shit. So we're going to try something today. Like a stir fry. A chicken stir fry. But the chicken is going to be kind of sticky a little bit. Like, I use that same sauce for wings, and it's insane. So I figured I'm going to try it in here and see if it works. And then add vegetables and whatever. So what you're going to need is, of course, I've got these bags of uh, vegetables. It's got broccoli and stuff. I don't know. It's got two bags of that, okay? This is uh, 12 ounces. So two bags of that. I've got cabbage that I've cut up from my garden. I'm going to use that too. Brown sugar, soy sauce, soy dal, garlic powder, dry mustard, paste, ginger paste. You need to find this stuff. This, you mix this with some soy sauce and whatever. I'm telling you, it's so good. And it's good for you. I've cut up two chicken breasts in little strips. Not too thick. Doesn't take long to cook chicken in there. Um, melt a stick of butter. You put that aside. So do that first. And then get sauces. You can add whatever vegetables you want. This is what I'm doing. What I had in the fridge. So... Let's uh, prepare this. I'll show you how to mix the sauce and we'll close up on this. Not this, alright? We'll be bye. Ooh, beverage. Eh? Alright, first thing we're going to do, guys, is cook, start cooking the chicken. Just dump it all in there. And we're not using this. We don't need this. All I'm going to do is sprinkle it with just a little bit of olive oil just to give it a little bit of substance. Um, let's, let's fry this while we make the sauce. So probably like if you want to put a timer on it, I'd say three minutes. All right. All right. Move you over here for the house. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Okay. So, soy sauce. Now this is gonna make a lot of sauce. But here's the deal. We're gonna put some of the sauce in there, and we're gonna save the rest for when we make wings a later date. You can put it in your fridge, and it'll stay in there forever. So one cup of soy sauce. Equal parts of soy sauce and brown sugar. Always remember that. You guys see? No. Guess I should have got this ready. We're just waiting for the chicken. Let's do a cup of brown sugar. always happens. Shit happens. There. Stop stressing out. We good? Alright. Okay, so we got that. Let's put some water in here. Not quite a cup. I'd say not quite a cup. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Okay, we need ginger. And ginger, I'm gonna put like, I mean, I'm at the end of this, so probably like a good teaspoon, okay? And this is dry mustard. Let me get the show up here. Half a teaspoon, maybe? Does that look like it? We'll say that. 
And here's some garlic powder. Let, you know, who doesn't like garlic? Let's put a teaspoon of that in there. Okay. And that's our sauce, you guys. So mix that up so the sugar's all dissolved and all that shit. Okay? And here's your stick of butter. Now, of course, when you put this in the fridge, the bar butter's going to harden up, so you'll have to microwave it to get it loose again. Alright? So that's our sauce, you guys. Let's mix this up pretty good. And then we're going to go to the Actifry and show you what to do with it, okay? Okay, okay. see the timer went off. It was three minutes. And I don't know if you could see it, but the chicken's sticking to the wall. I think that's because we don't have enough oil in there. So, I don't want to add oil because i got a half stick of butter in that stuff. So, that's going to juice it up a little bit. So, let me think. I think we're going to add a little bit more olive oil. Not much, though. Remember, don't touch the top, man. That shit is hot. So, I probably got about a teaspoon of olive oil in there. Just to lubricate it. I know it's a dirty word, but that's what I did. So, I'm going to let that go for another two minutes. Alright, guys. It's been two, two other minutes, and it's still sticking, but we don't give a shit about that. So, make sure to juice again. There's your sauce. Okay, I'm just going to add spoonfuls of this. Two spoonfuls of that. It's probably like half a cup. If that. Eh, less than half a cup. Let's do this for a couple more minutes. See what happens. And we're going to have to add the vegetables in pretty soon because I'm telling you, when you put chickens like that in there, chicken strips, it doesn't take very long. I just want the sauce to stick to the chicken a little bit before I add the vegetables. Okay, we'll do that in two minutes. Here we go. Time to add the vegetables. Chicken's like halfway done. Okay, let's put this in there. Oh, I might just have enough in one bag. Mmm. I think one bag's enough, you guys. Should do the other bag tomorrow. How about that? Cabbage wilts down, so we got no problem there. This is, this is my problem. I always overfill it, and the shit goes on the side and gets stuck there. But that's that's my problem. But if you get the extra fry with the rubber lip, is it recording? Yeah. If you get the extra fry with the rubber lip there, you don't have that problem. So there we go. I think that's stuffed enough. What do you think? Now here's the problem that happened with the sauce by sitting there. I had to mac microwave it because my soy sauce was cold and my butter was hot. And it candified. So just nuke it and it becomes liquid again. Let's put it in there. Which is not all of it. That's I should have looked at it. It was half a cup. I still got like a cup or so left of this juice. But that's going to be plain. Okay, let's fry it up. There you go. Um, I'd say, oh, let's put 15 minutes. It might not take that long, but let's put 15 and we'll check it halfway. Does that sound good to you? Sound good to me? Alright, time for beverage. I wanted you guys to see how much it's wilted down and it's got uh, 12 minutes left. So I'm going to add the rest of this cabbage in there. Can't hurt, right? Let her rip. See, bye. Guys, I think I'm going to add some more sauce to it. Because if I look on the bottom... Oh, there's plenty of sauce. Can you guys see that? It just looks like it was dry. When it looks like it's dry, it ain't. Just open it up and you can see there's a lot of juices in there. So I'm not going to touch it. It's just... It's going to mix together and... The sugar is going to make it sticky and it's going to do a lot of that. Okay, we'll be dead. Yeah, but thank you. Alright, got about 38 seconds left. Um, cooked up some white rice. You just put it in a measuring cup. 
than I did. Okay? You know, cut some onion. Are you recording? Some of this on there? You don't have to. I don't know. We were spot on on the time, though. It's, and a lot of those vegetables shrunk down pretty, pretty bad. Just so you know. So we could have put the other bag of vegetables in there, but it's still stacking up. I mean, I could have added it as we went, but, you know, it smells amazing. You know, this would be good in, like, lo mein noodles or something like that. Oh, God, I can't do this. I'm left-handed, you guys. Whew. This is the problem I have. Oh, it's a lot of juice. When you cook wings with this juice, it sticks to the wings. It doesn't get liquidy like that. So I think the vegetables, they carry a lot of moisture, you know. That makes sense. Hope it does. Oh, cow. Yeah, we could have added way more vegetables in between that. But looks good though, doesn't it? I'll taste it for you. Making a mess while I'm trying to put it in there. But you get the drift, right? Alright. Made a mess. You guys care? No, probably not. I'm going to put some sesame seeds on there. Can you guys see? Okay. Let me take a picture and then I'll taste. Okay, this is good though, the juices, that would be good with the rice, you know. I'm going to taste the chicken, I know it's fully cooked, everything's fully cooked. Gosh, that's too big. Taste some broccoli in there. Crunchy. Mmm-mm. That is really good. It's very good, but I like stuff spicy, so the next time I'm going to put like a Thai pepper in there or something like that. But it's delicious if you don't like spicy. Alright. Y'all take care. Bye.